Hello traders and welcome to the Stock Goodies Chart School. Now that we know a little bit about chart patterns and that a bullish chart pattern can yield up and a bearish chart pattern will yield down, the Fibonacci retracement tool is one of the most useful tools for trying to determine how far a stock will fall after a bearish chart pattern develops. Now even as a free member of StockCharts.com you will be able to access the annotate chart tool. Okay, So look for the symbol Yahoo, go straight down to the bottom of the chart. Just under the date there is a link for annotate flash. You will need to have Java installed on your computer for this applet to work. Okay, this tool is really useful. Okay, you can see that Yahoo was in a very long uptrend. Then it hit a patch of trouble here where it started to look like weakness. Okay, the lowest close was on this day right here. Then it set up kind of a triple top, a negative chart pattern, and this close here was below every previous close back to this day here. Okay, so you know the stock's going to be in a downtrend. You would like to know if it's going to be a mild retracement, a moderate retracement, or a serious retracement. Okay, and Fibonacci retracement tool can tell you that. And it is found right up here on the top row of things you can click on. Okay, the top one is called Fibonacci retracement tool. That's one we will be using. They also have the arc tool the fan tool and the time zone tool. But if you click on the one in the bar here, that will load the Fibonacci retracement tool. Then what you do is you go down to the lowest low, okay? Put your cursor over the lowest low on a closing basis. I don't use Wix. Hold down your left mouse button and drag up and to the right, holding your mouse button down at the time. Now you're looking for the highest high on a closing basis. You also want to be able to read the numbers. Okay, so position your tool correctly and get this line to touch the low here at $24 right here. Okay, so right now you want to know how much the stock will retrace after a run from this point here to this point here. Fibonacci uses two numbers basically. Okay, it's the 38.2 and the 61.8. Very often rounded out to 38 and 62. Now Fibonacci does not include 50 as a number or 100, but most traders know and it's included in the Fibonacci retracement tool because a lot of traders know that a pullback will go to 50. If it bypasses 38%, it will go to 50. And if it bypasses 50%, it will go to 62% down from the top. Okay. And sometimes a severe retracement is a 100% round trip that falls all the way back down to where the RAND began, even though that's fairly, you know, uncommon. So basically, we see Yahoo in trouble here. After a beautiful stair-stepping pattern that just kept setting new highs and making old levels of you know, resistance support, this is called the stair-step to heaven chart pattern. It's very bullish. But right in this area, he got into some trouble. Okay, He follows the overall market, and the market started to weaken in this time frame right here. Okay, So this day right here, the close right down here at the bottom of this big red candle was lowest close all the way back to this day. So it broke all support on a closing basis in this area. Okay, So you know the stock is going to fall. What you want to know is, okay, you've already exited. on. You would exit on a day right here or, or anywhere in this area where you could tell he wasn't going to go back up. Okay, so. You see them fall. You like to bottom fish. You like to catch stocks that have just had a pretty serious pullback and you're trying to get in for the bounce. 
Okay, a mild pullback is to the 38.2% line, which is exactly what happened here. Yahoo hit the 38.2% fib line and bounced. Okay, it's almost back to old highs again. Okay, so that was a mild retracement. A mid retracement's back to the 50 line. A fairly severe retracement is back to the 61.8. So if it bypasses 50, you can expect it to bounce here. Okay, so what it does is it allows us to find areas to re enter a stock after taking profit when we see it struggling and the chart pattern and other indicators say that it's going to fall. Okay, so this is one reason we use FIBS. It's to determine where a stock may most likely bounce after a pullback. And it's a very useful tool. It works great. It's very accurate. And the 38.2 and 61.8% pullback lines are like magic numbers. They're based on Fibonacci sequence. And the Fibonacci tool can be used in the opposite direction to determine from this high here to this low here how much a stock may bounce or is most likely to bounce. So let's go ahead and click on the Fibonacci retracement tool again. Hold down your left mouse button at the highest high. Drag to the right and down to the lowest low in this area. Okay, then you want to be able to read your numbers. Okay, let's try to put them over on the right here. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, so what you've done is you have put your top line here at the highest high and your zero line here at the lowest low. From where it hit bottom here, we are trying to determine if it will be a moderate bounce, a mid bounce, or an exceptionally good bounce. Okay. And in this case, Alcoa bounced off of the bottom and just achieved the 61.8 or the 62% line. So that was a very nice bounce. And on rare occasions, a stock will drop from here to there and bounce 100%, though that is rather rare. So this is another example of how you can determine after a long fall how far a stock is most likely to bounce. If it had turned around here and pulled back, that would have been a moderate bounce. A mid bounce would have been turned back here and a very nice bounce at the 62% line was right here before the next pullback. Now let's have a little fun with fibs. Put them all over the place. See if they're correct or not. Okay, from that low to this high, it looks like it was a pretty severe pullback. The stock pulled back to the 62% line and bounced. Let's try another one in reverse. From this high to this low. Okay, the stock bounced. From this high to this low, the stock bounced to the 38.2% fib line and pulled back again. Let's try one in reverse. From this low to this high. Okay, it looks like the stock bypassed the 38.2 and bounced just above the 50% line. Okay, that was a nice bounce too. Let's do one more. I think we have room for it. Let's grab this high to this low and try to determine what this bounce will be. Now, this chart is live. It's today's date. So it hasn't really had a chance to get up to the 38.2%. But it is a down day on really high volume. But that doesn't say it's not going to do it. Now, these don't always work, but they work more times than not. And they're really good tools.